In this video, we're going to look up location, rating and opening hours in Airtable for a list of company names. To do that, we're going to use the Places API from Google and the Data Fetcher Airtable app. So you can see here I've got a list of restaurant names um, along with London in my name field in my table. I've also got a place ID field, which is a single line text field, and a rating field which is a number field. So the next thing we need to do is add a new grid view called needs place ID and add the following filters. We want name to be not empty and place ID to be empty. And then we want to add another grid view called needs rating and for that we want the filters that place ID is not empty and rating is empty so obviously we're not going to have any records in this one yet so going back to our needs place ID view we can see that all of our company names are here um, and as we add the place IDs they're going to move out of this view so the next thing to do is to install the free data fetcher app from the Airtable app marketplace and once you've done that, you'll need to sign up for a free data fetcher account or sign into your existing data fetcher account. The next thing you need to do is click on create your first request. And for application, the next thing you need to do is click on create your first request and select Google Maps for the application. Then we need to create an API key for the Google Places API. So there's a link to this page in the video description and go to this page and then click on create your new project. And this will take us to Google Cloud Platform where you can add a name for your project and click create. And you can just sign into this using your normal Google account. Um, and this will take a couple of seconds but it will create the new project. And once you've done that, go back to the same link, click on go to billing page. So what we need to do now is enable billing on this new project. So you'll first need to select the project or make sure it's selected at the top. And then you'll need to add a Google Cloud Platform billing account to it. So you might need to set that up by adding some card details or a bank account. Um, and it should then get added to your new project. But if not, select it here and add it. And this is because this Places API is a paid API, um, but there is a free quota and the amount per request is very low. So once you've done that, you'll need to enable the Places API on this new project. So again, from that same page, click on Enable the Places API and click this Enable button here, making sure that your project name up here is the correct one. And once you've done that, and Google has allowed you to use their Places API, we should then get an API key that we can copy into DataFetcher. So copy that API key into the API key input here. And then for endpoint, select find a place from name, address, or phone number. And for the name of the request, change it to fetch place ID, click save and continue. Then for the input, we want to use the business names that we created earlier. So rather than typing one in, click on this add icon on the right hand side. For the field, select name. Make sure the run on every record view is needs place ID. So we only want to run it on those records and click confirm. Then for fields, select place ID, check the output table and view, our table one and needs place ID, and click save and run in the bottom right. You can hide this so that we don't always see the warning in the future. And then we're going to see a preview for the first record of the place ID that comes back. So we want it to use that existing place ID field, so just click save and run. 
and then data fetcher will run that request for every record in that view and you can see as it does that they're moving out of the view so the next thing we want to do is use those place IDs to pull in rating location opening hours and any other fields we want from Google Places. So open up Data Fetcher again and close this, click back and click Create Request. So we're going to set up a separate request to do that. So select Google Maps. The API key should just be populated automatically and then for endpoint select Place Details for a Place ID and for the name change it to Fetch Place Info click save and continue in the bottom right and for place ID we want to use that place ID field in the same way we did using the name field before so click this add icon on the right hand side then click place ID make sure the run on every record view is needs rating and click confirm then select the fields you want to import so I'm going to use opening hours rating geometry which will give us latitude and longitude and website now website is the website of the company versus URL is the URL in Google Maps make sure the output table is table 1 and the view is needs rating and then click save and run in the bottom right and you can see we've got lots of different fields coming back from the places API so click filter all to get rid of all the fields and then add back the ones you want. So I'm going to add these two which are the latitude and longitude of the business and then on the right I can see I've got the opening hours. I'm just going to change the name of that to opening hours to make it a bit shorter. I want to keep rating and match that to our existing field of rating and I want to keep website as well and map that to a new website, a new field, sorry, with type URL. So then click Save and Run. Data Fetcher is going to create those new fields for us and then run the request on every record in this needs rating view. And you can see we've now got all of those details from Google Places for the different businesses. So finally, back in Data Fetcher, let's set these two requests to happen one after the other. So click this drop down on the right here, click create sequence and change it to fetch location or maybe fetch place ID and info. And the first thing we want to do is fetch that place ID and then the second is place info. So when we run that, it would run the place ID request for every record first and then run the second one. So rather than us having to manually run one and then the other, they'd both just do be done automatically when we click run. So click save and then finally if we want to schedule that to happen automatically you can upgrade to a paid data fetcher account and enable this schedule button here and set the schedule you want to run it on and click save again. So let's just demo that. So we'll clear out that data and click run on the sequence and now we'll see that the place ID is pulled in for every business and then using that place ID we pull in location, rating, website and the opening hours for every business.